Welcome, my fellow Empire fans or imperialists. Uh, no, welcome. We're just doing a little bit of building tonight. It is the Galactic Empire Battle Pack number 75134. We're going to be building basically the the, the build itself from that Battle Pack. I've already uh, had the figures were already put together. So I don't get the figure building experience, but I did get to experience how awesome these figures are, uh, which is amazing. So if you want to uh, check out the story behind this, uh, the haul, because uh, I'm buying this used, which is always interesting. Um, what's great is that, you know, these are in such good shape. Does it really matter that you get it new in box sometimes? I mean, it's nice, but is it necessary? And sometimes I would say, for the sake of collecting some of these retired sets, getting them used and in good shape like this is a blessing. So, um, again, hopefully you're having a good good evening. We're going to do, <clears throat> do a little building. It looks like even the blasters are put together. We've got one here. This is that extended, which I, I like. Um, got that. So stay tuned at the very... Uh, next week, uh, we will set uh, a review of this. So we just did the haul this last week. It took a little while to arrive, and then there was a little bit of a delay since um, since I have other hauls. I try to keep my haul videos to one a week, and uh, we'll go from there. So, okay, so we got four weapons, four dudes, so that's good. And let's get our build on. So here we go. Get some of these nice uh, translucent reds, which is very nice. Very nice. We like we like translucent. That is very cool. I don't know. I'll probably again break this down and use it for parts. Don't have any plans to use this in any mocks or uh, anything along those lines. But this can always give some pretty cool ideas. That's one of the things I really like about battle packs. I really, really like about um, all the different design techniques and things like that that these types of sets tend to kind of bring to the table, if you will. Uh, here we go. That's that. Uh, interesting. So that's kind of put together. You know, sometimes I, I would have probably done the same thing. You get sick of taking this stuff apart. And you also don't want it to break <laughs> either. <laughs> so that's always the danger of there is some uh, dark red brown or dark red in here. And uh, that stuff tends to break <laughs> very quickly. So this is a cool technique. I love the fact because you can turn something a little bit wider with uh, and shape it out like that so that's nice oh there we go bear with me while I fumble around trying to okay so this one goes here but yeah the, the shock trooper in this is just like oh man I'm telling you uh, getting this set was is an absolute thrill. Um, I did see, well, this already has it. See, I screwed myself up. We need trans. Um, I, I've i seen this set all over the place. I can't, I mean, it had to have been just wild getting this set. Was it like 15 bucks back in the day? Um, that had to have been a treat imagine being like a seller amassing these you can get these sealed in box they're going for like 40 50 dollars uh, probably even higher than that in some cases so this set is definitely awesome you know really if you think about it all of the bat these this was a battlefront related set and a lot of these <clears throat> sets really I, I'm sure Lego was like, I don't know what kind of value this is going to bring. But frankly, I think these are some of the best sets they've made. The Inferno Squad was really solid. Uh, some of the other builds were pretty cool. So, you know, building sets off of video game properties is not a bad thing. 
Uh, let's see here. Now, if we can just get Calcestis in Lego form, that would be amazing. Uh, should I do like hashtag we want Calcestis? That's the fig. That's a figure I want. Like for sure, I would get him in a heartbeat. It would be awesome to have a, a Sith versus Jedi uh, CMF. I mean, you just, I don't know. They could do so much with the CMFs. It's just criminal that they don't do them. I get why. I mean, it makes, it's, the figures sell the sets, but but there's figures that you're not going to put in the sets. Those are the ones you want to do. And that's perfect. You're not, no harm, no foul. Get people even more excited. Like, why not? Come on, why not get people excited? What's the name of the game? It's kind of like a double decker, isn't it? That's kind of what I'm getting here. So, I'm kind of skipping ahead, and it's it, you know, I'm getting punished for it. I was wondering why that was a little bit higher. <laughs> There's that. This one goes here. Translucent red. 30 degree, 30 slopes, one buys. It's pretty neat. It's a pretty cool missile. There's that. Wow, nice little cockpit. And it looks like we're gonna finish out the detailing here. This okay to make a full square. Oh, we gotta put a little little shield on here. Okay, so now, let's see, this is going to go, aha, uh -huh. oh cool, printed part, we love our printed parts, so that's nice, and then, oh, we got little wings. Oh, there's multiple wings. Let's go. I like the wings. All right. Look at that. That's kind of fun. You can kind of create that curve. Just like that. We're moving along. This is, uh, for a lot of small pieces, this has got some complexity. At least a little bit. Now, this part is already kind of built, so we'll just keep it. Flip it over. We got that. Looks good. That looks good. That'll help speed things along. <coughs> oh, there we go. Wasn't sure how that was gonna play out. So it's a sight. Whoa, carefully shoot your eye out. These things are dangerous. So it's just like a little aiming mechanism and then you can shoot it off. Whoa! Let's go. Should do one more. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, here we go. Alright, we're using the aiming mechanism. Aiming mechanism. Oh, it's got two. We need a little bit more arc. So, let's see, this is a leftover part. Oh, you can you can kind of put the blasters right here. Man, this thing can be. This thing's devastating. Let's see. Oh shit. Oh oh, hello. Put these here. It's good storage for it. And you can go pew pew pew. Can launch this. This just kind of is a cannon. Just like that. Wow, a lot of little a lot of little features on this. Pretty cool. This is kind of an extra piece, I think. Yeah. Accidentally left me an extra piece. 
That's amazing. So with that, that is the end of the building. Stay tuned next for a full review of the battle pack. I'll go a little bit more into to detail my thoughts on it. Thank you so much for joining me on my journey collecting and building Lego. And we'll catch you on the next Star Lego Star Wars building experience. Bye for now.